We'll start with this one right here. So we have a guy who's not really boxed too much, and he's challenging the coach right here, who's a lady. And so far he has his guard up, right? Not Okay, he's not really punching. He's more smacking. Yeah, she's totally walking around him, looking down with her heads, her hands down too. So, yeah, look at that. He's like, oh, my God, I don't want to do this anymore. And the way he's holding his hands, right, he keeps his body open a lot too, right? So look at that. He's giving up. He's giving up. So this is just our little warm-up. The next one's the guy's going to put up a little bit more of a fight. See, the ref's even stepping in and be like, should I intervene? But coach is being so nice. Coach is being so gentle. Oh, look at that. He, like, doesn't know what to do. He's afraid because he knows sometimes when I attack, before my punch ever goes anywhere, I'm going to get a jab on me, right? Look at that. Yeah, he gave up. He gave up. Look at that. Look at that. This is a jiu-jitsu coach. We've seen her before. So this guy is challenging the jiu-jitsu coach to a striking match. Okay. She obviously being at an MMA gym, she probably takes lessons from the striking coach, right? But okay. So she doesn't move around as well as the guy so far, but who knows? Okay. All right. Little head off center line jab landed. She took a few to the body. Oop. Leg kick. Oh, she's getting frustrated. She's like, if I could only just take you down, man. Nice leg kick. Whoa, that is kicking a little high there. Wow. Props to Jiu Jitsu Girl for taking on this guy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Ah, oh, nice head movement. All right. I wonder if Guy kind of. Realize this, either way, he's lost, right? If he wins, it's like, why'd you hit a girl? If you lose, it's like, oh, I got beat by a girl. She, the importance of keeping your right hand up, right? He, because his hand was there, blocked the kick from reaching his face earlier, the head kick. So, okay, she's warming up a little. Okay, that was a great combo by him. All right, oop. Okay, all right. Wow, not bad. Okay, so this is later on. So, unfortunately, these edits weren't made by me, okay? Just want to make it clear. So. Wow, this goes on for a while, man. Okay, nice combo by him. All right, she comes back with a little combo. Woof. Nice. Woo. Why would you try to throw the jujitsu girl? She has him in kind of a guillotine hold. Let's see if she's going to be able to finish it. The gloves are kind of in the way, right? So, let's see. Ah, interesting predicament she's in. You might have to let him up a little bit. Let's see. Can she get a triangle? Why would you take the jujitsu girl to the ground? Maybe he felt bad. So, oh, you see she's trying to wiggle her way out. You see that? She's trying, she's trying for an arm bar, it looks like. Ooh, oh. So, it's not over yet, guys. They're going to go another round, and I think now they're actually going to do more like MMA rules, except they still have big gloves, if you notice. But I think now she's going to use her grappling. So, this guy might be in shark fest territory, right? Let's see what happens. Let's see how good her takedown is with, with um, gloves, okay? Going for the leg, leg kick. Oh, nice combo. Double hook right there. Maybe it's a hook and a cross. Okay. I want to see her initiate some takedowns. Notice she keeps going high. Oh, he fell for it. I was just saying, she kept going very high with her gloves, man. Okay, now she's got him worried. Oh, nice punches, man. Nice punches. Wow. Yeah, that punch angered her a little, man. She, uh, you can tell her stamina is not there. She doesn't have that striker stamina. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Got him. Got him. Side control. Oh, yeah. There you go. She's like, I'm not letting you up. That's payback for challenging me. Let's see. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> the ref's like, okay. All right. I'm going to call you as the winner. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Here we have a lady versus two guys. Only in Russia would they come up with something like this. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, my God. Okay, well, obviously, she is much bigger, right? She's much bigger. So, 
And it doesn't look like either of these guys has ever fought before. So, yeah, okay, you got a one trained lady versus two guys who've never fought before. So, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. He's like, go, go. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, got him. Yeah, she got him. She got him. <laughs> one on one now. Uh oh. Oh, no. Flacco right here is going to have some issues. Flacco right here. Uh oh. Leading with his face, man. Right? It's good lesson. Don't lead with your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, behind you. Behind you. Oh, my goodness. She's trying. She should have lined them up, man. You should have lined them up the whole time. Okay, this one's not interesting. Let's just um, let's just go to the next one. Maybe he thought because he's a guy, he got more strength. Yeah, see? She just has to punch down, man. Oh, see that? Oh, knocked down already, man. I wonder if he's regretting or if he thinks it's funny. Yeah, he thinks it's funny. He thinks it's funny. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> because if this is boxing rules, right? I don't even think he can reach her face unless she really dips down to hit him. So you gotta bait her to dip down somehow, right? That's the key. You gotta bait her to how do you how do you do it? Maybe you gotta hit her tatas, right? <laughs> if you hit her tatas, maybe it'll cause a specific reaction. Oh man, see? She's he's just walking into her punches because when she holds her Hands at hip level, that's about at his face, man. Yeah, another knockdown, man. Oh, this isn't fair. Yeah, we're only going to watch one round at this push. Shout out Street Beef Scrapyard for giving these two stand-up comedians a chance to do this, man. Okay, guys, here we got a guy who's never done jiu-jitsu, challenging a jiu-jitsu girl. Now, he initially gets her on the ground with a bulldog type of takedown, right? Standard, but... A lot of times what happens is you give your back when you when you do that kind of bulldog type of thing. And so look at her on his back. He's, oh, wow, he's, he's surviving. He's surviving. Maybe she's going to transition into a crucifix. We'll see. It looks like she really wants to get her hooks in, right? I think she's probably going to go for that rear naked choke. Yep, she's flipped him over. Yep, there you go. And I actually, he's still... He's still in her guard. Never mind. So I think at this point, she's got to transition. She's got high guard. Right? Oh, okay. She's cranking that arm. She's cranking that arm. She's cranking that arm. So, yeah. Okay. All right. She kind of pulled off an arm bar. It wasn't the cleanest arm bar, but it doesn't matter. She got it. So I don't think that's going to convince him that he can't beat her. So look at that. He's... Tired from that one exchange, right? I don't think he's ever exerted in that way. She just does a lot of muscular endurance, too. It's not just cardio or muscle strength. So, there was some sloppy hand fighting. Okay, all right. Look at that. He's trying to go for that bulldog takedown again. Gets it. Again, turns his back. This time, look at that. She's triangled. Look at that. She's trying. Oh, and she's going for an armbar at the same time. Wow. Okay, that was pretty cool.